Good evening. Dante, you, uh, sorry. Thanks, man. Um, you stuck with it and you guys got a great win. What, is it, what does it feel like to come out on top from that one? Uh, you know, it's always great to have a team win. Uh, I say, you know, throughout the game, it can be many plays that can cause adversity to happen. But at the end of the day, as long as the team that wins, for sure, is going to feel the most happiest and knowing that there's a lot of mistakes, uh, a lot of mistakes that we have to correct for sure. But just getting the team wins is the biggest thing. And I say, you know, that team was a really good football team. I said from just watching film and just the way, especially just quarterback to quarterback, how Cam was really in the pocket, how he makes the plays. And I said, our great defense, you know, held it down, kept doing what they kept doing. And like I said, it's just the offense got to keep getting better. You know, person with myself got to keep getting better. But team wins the, the great thing. Hey, Dante. Uh, you know, you threw a pick six at the end of the half. You know, what was the message you got, to, you know, from your coaches? And, you know, you came out in the second half a little bit more stronger, a little bit more confident. You know, talk to me about what you, was being said to you during the halftime. Um, truthfully, uh, like I said, every time you get down in the red zone, especially being that close, uh, you know, at least you want to score some points. It can be a field goal, it can be a touchdown, whatever it is. But truthfully, like I say, you know, on that play, you know, number four, I believe that was his number that caught the pick. It's just him, he was like a flying squirrel. He jumped in the air, wings out, threw the ball, and like I say, he picked it. And, you know, for me, from there, one thing I'm learning for sure, and one thing I did to see from that is, you know, sometimes just, you know, move or do, you know, my amazing sidearm angles and get the ball to the running back because he was open. But, I say, you know, in football, like I say, especially on a collegiate level, like, you know, I'm still learning is everybody's good, man. Like I say, if you keep making mistakes or keep doing that, like a lot of people are going to capitalize off your mistakes, and that's when the team starts to win. So it says a great defense, you know, great rush, great rush team. Like I said, great coaching staff. So, like I said, that's when the red zone, we have to score. Yeah, it felt like you were like eight out of nine on rollouts yeah. today. How, how much did that help you? Did, did coach? design some things that helped you kind of, uh, you know, with protection and things like that, quick hitters and rolling out? Yeah, um, like I said, just being a quarterback, a lot of times you want to talk to your coach, you know, especially Coach Kelly. He's the off the mind guy. And of course, he's the cold ones that's calling the plays and stuff. So, I said during a week, you know, we have had two weeks to, you know, get ready for the game. So, a lot of the times I just went into his office sat down, just communicate with him what I like, what I don't like. And if I don't like something, he can possibly, you know, tell me if I'm seeing it, how I'm seeing it, if we can change my view of seeing things. But if I said, Coach, like, this play isn't really fitting with me, he would just cancel it off. So, like I said, I really appreciate Coach Kelly for, you know, the hours that we spent together, especially me just being upstairs, you know, with the coaches and seeing how they're thinking. And like I said, you know, getting out the pocket, you know, being a threat while you can run, you can throw the ball. Like I say, you know, the, the tight ends running across the field in that hot heat, you know, making them great catches. Like I say, you know, it's a big shout out to them. And like I said, you know, Logan, especially his outrows and Cam and everybody, they kept doing one hell of a job. Hey, Dante, with the defense playing the way that they're playing, just how much confidence does it give you guys offensively knowing that if you guys do make mistakes, that, you know, they're out there making plays to get you the ball back and et cetera? I mean, you know, when you have one hell of a defense, man, like, that just does things like that, what can be turnovers with fumbles, with picks, with, you know, just pressure on the quarterback and things like that. I mean, on the sideline, you're like, all right, we're getting the ball back, we're, whatever happens, you know. You know, teams score, like I said, teams, you know, kick field goals, and like I said, you know, that happens, it's football. But, you know, as a quarterback, especially, you know, with the offense, I mean, you got to just, you know, just score whenever time they get the ball. Of course, you can't, you know, you can score every job, but it's going to be hard to, but really, the defense just keeps doing what they're doing. Like I said, I always give them the shout-out. Like I said, you know, defense wins football games. Like I said, you know, I really believe that statement because really defenses are really ones that can hold it down, make sure the offense the other side doesn't score. So our defense is doing really great. You know, Darius, him just being a Mike linebacker that just really, you know, keeps that defense together. And, you know, Coach Lynn is really doing one hell of a job. I really appreciate it for sure. And then talking about, you know, just the performance of, you know, the running game. You know, Carson was able to pound the ball 30 times, 120 plus yards. And then Keegan being able to go in with, you know, special plays for him to uh, finish drive scoring touchdowns. What's your thoughts on that? Um, like I say, you know, just having, you know, a great first year I saw off the offensive line. I mean, the offensive line, the way that, you know, they can make the holes and make things pop up even for running backs. But sometimes, you know, running backs can go into a hole and it can be a little stuff and they make a play. So just having Carson, just TJ, Colson, you know, Tutu, uh, just having them to just in the backfield, it just really helps you be more comfortable, especially because a lot of times play actions work. A lot of times things get you open. But, you know, just giving it to Keegan, I mean, two touchdowns, him just, you know, his little, you know, fast stuff, screaming, going through the line, and it was hard to see him through the hole. So 
his burst of just speed and everything like that is for sure helping our offense out a lot. And like I said, he's just always been quiet. He, he hasn't complained about anything. And really, when it comes to him getting the ball in his hand, he's going to do one great thing. He's going to score for sure. Dorian Thompson Robinson was here today. Did you get to talk to him at all? Sure did. Uh, actually, um, I forgot what drive it was. I went up to him and I'm like, "Tell me what am I like? Tell me what you're seeing out there. Tell me what some things I can work on." And like I say, you know, Dorian has been a great quarterback. You know, he still is a great quarterback, especially he's in you know NFL right now. And really, as you know, it's a blessing for every kid against NFL. But just watching. You know, every every week we watch a team, just watching the way he makes plays, the way he just, just on film is just, he's amazing. So I just went up to him, like I say, you know, he's played college football for many years. So just talked to him, and he just told me, just go out there, just to keep taking deep breath. Like I said, the defense is doing what they got to do. They're getting these shots free. You just have to capitalize on the score and get in the end zone. And that next drive, I think it was the one we were supposed to score, J. Mike, that was a catch. J. Mike for sure had that great catch. <laughs> I got to give it to him. Like, that was insane. I thought it was a good clean catch from my view, but I didn't know he was tipping and you know, stuff like that. But I say, you know, just talking with him, he just say to keep your composure, you know, just keep breathing out there, you know, you know, it's hot as hell, so it's you know hard to breathe out there a little bit. But like I say it was just one person I really appreciate a lot and our connection for keeps for sure keeps growing. Dante, you've talked about the learning curve in college, but do you feel like the last two like your first three games non conference, maybe one hundred level classes and intro and stuff, you kind of feel like with the beginning of conference play it's ramped up to 200 or 300 level classes? Yeah, uh, I mean, college football is just every, I mean, truthfully, a lot of college teams are, you know, always going to be great teams. I mean, you know, it's, it's really hard for college athletes to be in college to play the game of football. I say it takes some type of talent and it takes really special talent, but this Pac-12 conference, I mean, it's geesh, like, everybody's good, you know, it's just, we just played, I don't know what rank they were, I think 12 or 13, something like that, but you know, just coming into this game, I mean, even last game, especially Utah at Utah, I mean, just these environments, these teams, in conference teams are just amazing. You know, these quarterbacks, I'm just watching them, how they make, keep making these plays, just learning from the things they're doing. So, like I said, I mean, this conference is for sure a competitive conference, and I know with Coach Kelly and how he's, pro, you know, getting us ready for each week and just bettering ourselves is for sure one thing that we're going to keep doing. It's difficult, though, to get to your question. Just kind of <laughs> difficult. Dante, question. You guys watch the game films every week. Right. You've seen what Washington State would do. How do you think your defense affected this? Was it better than what they've seen in their prior four games? They came in four, you guys came in three, one, now you're tied up. You think that their this your defense was better than what they've seen in their prior games? Oh, uh, just like defense, defense? Your defense, you yeah. yeah. So but then I mean I mean, yeah, I mean our defense for sure, I guess I can argue with anybody that our defense is one amazing defense for sure. Like just having that pass rush, just having the DBs, and just, you know, as a quarterback, when you have them types of pass rushes and things like that, you can't just sit comfortably in the pocket. Like, you know, Cam was just running around, making his plays, throwing people off of him and doing things. I don't want to sound like, what in the world are you doing? Like, he just keeps making plays. But just the way that our defense is doing really great things, like I say, you know, they've watched this play, has played against, you know, some good defenses, but I can argue that our defense for sure is one of the best they're ever doing, you know, really in this college football, you know, conference. So it's just, a lot, but I said as a quarterback, playing against tough defenses for sure can make us, you know, work harder for sure. Thank you. Always. And uh, Dante, it looks seems like early in the season, you and Carson Ryan have had quite a connection. He makes that juggling catch today. Had one, looked like he may have had one in the end zone that was overturned. Um, what's, I guess, working with him right now? Um, with Carson Ryan, I mean, I mean, just him and our tight ends or the way they just block, the way they catch, catch passes, you know, and, you know, another one Hudson on that long catch he had. But to Carson, I mean, the way he just communicates, like I said, uh, he's for sure the person that if we keep calling run plays, he's going to put the hard work in. Like I said, the hard work he put in is for sure he's rewarded. You know, he can fake, fake run block, pop open, catch these passes and keep doing things like that. But I remember on that one pass in the end zone, it got my, my elbow got hit. That's why I kept like rolling it off because it got hit. It was a little stunt, saw a little sting on it. But my elbow got hit. But if I didn't get hit, I would have been a touchdown. I mean, I, I don't know if that was a catch, but I mean, I probably said that was a catch for sure. But <laughs> like I said, it's just just the way they keep making plays. I mean, I said I appreciate them, especially Moliki. Like I said, a lot of these catches, a lot of these ways I was getting out the pocket, they can get open for me. So I appreciate them a lot. And like I said, you know, just gonna keep being better. Appreciate you, Dante. Thank you. Thank you.